What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're finally back working on the concrete project. I've been super busy the last couple weeks, but I'm pretty much all caught up now, so should be a flood of videos in the next couple weeks to come. Hopefully one day I'll be able to make YouTube videos almost every day, but for now I still have to work and do other things, but I'm sure you guys know how life is. But today we're working on pad number eight. Really excited to get this pad done. For you guys that are new here, this is the big concrete pad that I've been working on. Been doing it all by myself, just knocking out one pad at a time. And the plan as of right now is to put a metal building on here and use it as a garage. This is really like a restoration project. There was some really old, unusable concrete that was here that I broke up and got rid of so now I'm just putting it all back with new concrete got my forms all set up got my wire mesh in you guys can see still have my rebar sticking out of that pad so I had holes drilled in that form so the rebar goes all the way through into that pad comes all the way out into here all my grading the rest of these pads are really nice so i'm going to use mostly wire mesh for the rest of this each one of these pads are seven feet by eight feet it's going to give me a total finished pad of 32 by 21. for each pad i've been getting a ton of 2b limestone gravel a ton of highway sand or you could call it coarse sand. And then I've been using approximately six bags of Portland per pad. This is the Portland I'm using. I have an extra bag just in case I need a little bit of extra to finish. So sometimes six bags is enough. Sometimes on these thicker ones, I need a little bit more. So I always have an extra bag just in case. Harbor Freight Mixer has been doing great. I hear Echo right here. I have a few leaves in there I'm sure I'll get a few comments about that I'm gonna pick out a couple of the big ones but it's really not the end of the world Okay, yeah, so that first one, I made it too wet, and I made too much. I'm not going to do that again. Forgot to lube my form.
All right, guys, it's the next day here. Getting ready to take off my forms. And we officially have pad number eight done. So let's get these forms off and see how the sides turned out. See my edge got a really nice edge on it not edge but the side where the forms were so I've pretty much gotten that down pat pretty good I just use my shovel to really move the concrete around and then just tap on the sides with a hammer a little bit and that seems to have given me pretty much the best results on this one just a couple tiny little spots over on this side same thing just have my one rebar sticking out so I'll just have to drill the rest of the holes in this one and then I still need to drill holes in that pad and then all along this side then once I pour this pad it'll connect all these pads together I went and moved my gravel around, the extra bit of gravel I had just to make this all level here because this was the last spot that was a little bit low. So all this is nice and filled now. But yeah guys, this has been a big project. I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Can't wait to have this next one done. And then I'll have a nice big concrete pad to be able to use again. And like I told you guys before, some of these lines for the pads aren't perfectly straight. That's because I'm really just worried about the outside edges. I just want them to be pretty much perfectly square. I don't necessarily need these lines in the middle to all be perfectly lined up and perfect. Like I've said before, at the end of the day, it's just going to be a floor that I'm using so that the metal building lines up right. I do want the outer edge to be pretty square. After completing this pad, I am officially perfectly square on all the concrete that I have here. So this corner right there is all squared up with that corner and vice versa. And yeah, I didn't mention this in the very beginning, but I just got a couple new form boards because I let the old ones sit out in the rain and they got warped a little bit. So just spent an extra 15 bucks to get some new forms. Now this pad is gonna be really easy to do. I have all the forms pretty much set up already. It's all, I just, all I have to do is use the concrete that's here. I just have to put the one form board on the very end, just like that. So yeah, this pad should be pretty much the easiest so far. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're getting to the end here. I'm going to try to knock out this ninth one here pretty soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on me finishing this project. Don't forget to drop a big thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Peace.